Yeah, so this is another super amazing um, seedlings of cassava. What you see here, they are ready for transplanting. Yeah, they look so nice and healthy. I told you the six months varieties. Yeah, and that is how they are very nice. Look at this cassava, very healthy. And we are going to transplant it to the main field. Yeah, so if you want to do cassava uh, farming, the best way is to employ this method of multiplication. That is cassava multiplication. And I bet you, you will never regret. They are really, really, really growing so, 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 so nice. And they are ready for transplanting. We are going to transplant them. Um, Hello viewers, welcome to Smart Agro Innovation, your most innovative platform which shares simple ideas to the world. Thank you for being with us all the time. Greetings from Ghana, West Africa. My name is Anthony Beidou. Today, um, we are going to highlight on cassava multiplication. Cassava. So if you see on my tail, on my desk, um, you can see some planting materials here. These are different types of cassava varieties. And on our previous episodes, we've been sharing with you ideas to multiply your cassava with ease. I always say day in and day our farmers move around gallivanting all in the name of planting materials. But through simple innovative ideas, you can easily get a lot of your planting materials by getting very few of what you want to produce. So if you have this cassava, I tell you look at the height, it can give you a lot of cassava instead of going by the local way, if let's say by the local farmer, you will just cut this into two. Or three, then you are going to get only three for planting. By through multiplication, you can get more than 20, uh, more than 20 cassava from this. So, we share with you an idea, a practical idea on how to multiply your own cassava. At the comfort of your farm by so doing anybody at all despite your educational background despite your level of education in agriculture your level of experience if you watch our videos you will get to grab a lot of things and you see that farming is so simple by using simple simple smart ideas in our previous videos, we did it, we performed the whole experiment for you to see how it is done. Yet, people call to find out more. And today, this is going to be a very stratified video for you to get a full understanding. So, for example, um, we are going to perform everything here. What you see here is um, sawdust. This is a substrate, sawdust. That's what we are going to use for our multiplication here. I want to make it simple for everybody to understand. So this is all that signifying or symbolically represents our soil. If you want to plant direct or you want to do a nursery for your cassava, you can do it. And if you also want to plant directly on the field, you can still um, do it. So it's so simple. What you see here, apart from our soil dust for a simple demonstration for you to see how cassava multiplication is done, um, this is our planting materials. This we have them here with us, and we have some knife here for you to see <laughs> um, whether the easier way of cutting your 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 cuttings. If you, this is the stem, if you want to cut it with knife, I'm going to show you. Is it appropriate to use to do the divisions with knife, or is it a, what is the appropriate tool? You can see that we have. Hacksaw blade, hacksaw blade. Um, you see, we are prepared, smart angle. We are really prepared for you. You can see that we have even some of the uh, reserved blade here. You can see that we mean business. Yeah. 
So this is also a tip measure, and we are off to go. Now this is our planting material. This is cassava. This is the uh, Bosomenisia banchi in our local Ghanaian language. This is the six month variety. In our local language, we say Bosomenisia banchi. Uh -huh. In Sebi, we say Bosomenisia banchi. Yeah. So this is a six month variety of cassava. If you plant this in six months time, you are going to harvest. Yeah. So. If you look at this, under normal circumstances, our conventional farmers or our old farmers, like my grandmom and mom, this whole thing they will just cut it into three. And you will just cut it into three like this. So they will have only three planting materials so they will just plant these three so every day you have to move along carry cassava sticks oh you are going to plant it no it's very simple you can get a lot from this but in the olden days they will plant only this one and wait for this whole you see before germination takes place there are a series of processes that takes place as well there are metabolic activities that occur you know, if you plant something before germination takes place, it has to pass through the state of detail before it will be subjected to heat. The whole thing will, will continue to even sometimes start rotting like before germination begins. It's a whole long term. So if you plant cassava, it can take you about one year and it will still be there. Uh, just like what our, our local farmers are doing. Meanwhile, if you plant a small portion of this, it will give you much more planting materials. I told you the main um, aim of doing multiplication is the numbers. Yes, you have this. You want to get more from this. That is the prime idea of doing multiplication in any field. So, once you have this, in our olden farmers, they will just plant this like this in the soil and cover it and this whole thing will be exposed to the sun the whole thing will dry up to some level die off in fact it puts stress on your cassava because if you plant it is the root as we have here you see these are the nodes this this thing is what will Terminate for you to get your cassava. You have a lot of this node here. You need only one node to move to plant. So if you have this node, you are okay. Why should you plant this whole thing? And we are living about one, two, three, four, five, six. Instead of getting about seven cassava from this, you will get only one. So now, instead of planting the whole thing, we divide it into small, small portions and plant it. So, <coughs> this is what our conventional farmers have been doing. It is still going to give you one cassava. You see, there are some notions that if you cut it longer, that is when it admits it's a misconception. That is when you get more tedious. It is not true. Take it from me. Only one node can give you very big of yeah uh, of uh, what do you call it the roots of cassava you get it so using this whole thing doesn't give you it prolong um, the lifespan of the cassava that is one disadvantage so without wasting much time let's look at it this is the conventional one that our uh, Farmers have been doing so. Let's say about one foot, the whole thing they will just plant it. You know, you can get a lot from it. You see, so we have our um, hacksaw blade. If you use the cutlass to cut, it is quite difficult. If you are using the cutlass to cut this, it is quite difficult, and then at the, at the point in time, it can even crack. 
So it is not appropriate to use this when you are doing cassava multiplication. So let's put the knife aside. Now, use your hacksaw blade. See that we have one node here. Use your hacksaw blade. So you have this. Instead of planting this whole thing, only this one can give you cassava. Only this. Instead of planting this whole thing. So. So you see that we have, look at the number that we got from this. getting a lot you have one two three four five six and out of this six we can get <coughs> six cassava plants instead of planting this whole thing getting one so this is the conventional one now as a farmer just you see it's ready you can add wood ash because it has bioinsecticidal property you pour wood ash on it so that once it gets into the soil, certain soil bone pathogens will not affect it due to it by using the cider property. So once you have this, you just put wood ash on it or where there is no availability of wood ash, you can put them in uh, any insecticide uh, so that once it gets down there in the soil, it doesn't uh, deteriorate easily. So after this whole thing, then you just put it, this is how to plant it, it's very simple. Let's see, this is our soil, put it inside, put it inside, and then you cover it thoroughly, it shouldn't be exposed, you cover it very nice, and off you go, you will see that this one will grow faster, very fast. Because look at this small small thing, it's easy to rot and germination easily takes place. It grows faster than this. Planting with this height, you don't know. The most important thing in cassava is to get the nodes. You can see how the root is. This is the most important part of the cassava. So that is it. Instead of planting this whole big thing, do it this way and plant it. We have done some field work over there and we want you to go and see how we have done our nursery. It is very simple how the nursery is doing. It is marvelous. Let us go and watch.
have uh, curtains here with us and uh, we're going to plant them see it's so simple this is how to plant them you see this is it put it there you cover it you put it there you cover it you put it there you make sure that it is fully covered you cover it you put it there you cover it just within seven days you see that germination has begun now as you move along you see the germinated one look at this these were done some few days ago yeah. And you can see them how they are thriving over here, how they are doing. <coughs> yeah. We nest all these um, cassavas. And this is how they are doing. It looks so nice and amazing. Now they are ready for transplanting. Okay. So you just take them, you just you see, look at it. See, cassava has to do with the roots. Look at it. You see that upon all these old things, you have the record. These old things, you see that it is only one node which is growing. And this is the root. Here you have the rooting system. And you see how nice it is growing. This thing is ready to be um, transplanted to the field for permanent growth. It's so simple. You see that only no one node will emerge. You see, <coughs> you have just one node. Having a nice, healthy cassava. Look at the leaf. It looks so amazing. Yeah. So very soon we are going to um, transplant all these seedlings. And off we go. You can see how we are um, doing. It's so nice and much more encouraging. Yeah. So during the week we are surely going to take them to the field where they will continue to grow. Yeah. We have seen things here. We have much this particular um, one. There are a lot of cassava seedlings in there. Very soon, we are going to remove all the mulch material. It's so simple and straightforward. And let us go to another place where we are really ready. I told you that you have to cover all the time. You shouldn't let it be exposed. Yeah. Yeah, so this is another super amazing um, seedlings of cassava. What you see here, they are ready for transplanting. Yeah, they look so nice and healthy. I told you these are six months varieties. Yeah, and that is how they are very nice. Look at this cassava, very healthy. And we are going to transplant it to the main field. Yeah, so if you want to do cassava, uh, farming the best way is to employ this method of multiplication that is cassava multiplication and i bet you you will never regret they are really 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 growing so 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 nice and they are ready for transplanting we are going to transplant them um, some few days to come so this is a uh, cassava multiplication we want you to understand that when it comes to vegetative propagation um you look nowhere but look at smart agro innovations it is very simple straightforward that can be done by anybody at all devoid of your educational background and your ability in farming follow us and continue to watch our video day in and day out subscribe to the channel and our doors are also open. Thank you. <laughs>
peccati. E mi ha guardato il mese. Bene. E si ha guardato il mese. Fourteen. 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 Um, and this is how it is going to do now. It some has reached um, transplanting stage, and over the week we are going to do transplanting. It is very simple and straightforward. We started with you. We are going to have this same cassava with you. How they are doing? Thank you so much for watching. This is Smart Agro Innovation, your channel that always present on smart and innovative ideas from the field of agriculture due to how we do our presentations i think it doesn't matter your level of education in agriculture you can also do more so in case you want to get a full understanding of what we have been presenting please kindly subscribe to the channel while you call us because we have our contacts there you contact us for um any other business apart from that our doors are also open for uh trainings we've dubbed our training as smart training smart training in the front of agriculture our doors are open ranging from plantain sucker multiplication organic um uh, vegetable production cassava multiplication anything that can be multiplied in the field of agriculture once you rely on us, very soon um, our snails will also get in there. We have a lot of videos on snails and if you need snails, you can also call us and you will get a lot more. Anything at all in and outside Ghana, if you need anything, agribusiness, call us and we will always be at your help. Thank you so much for watching. This is Smart Agro Innovation.